According to Guide Dogs Research, 49% of assisted dog owners were turned away by a taxi or minicab in the last year. The research further shows 38% of guide dog and other assistance dog owners have been illegally asked to pay an extra fare for carrying their dog. We spoke to Peter Bungay, who was refused entry to a taxi whilst he was in Bournemouth. Our reporter Kirsty Chambers went to meet him. Peter Bungay was left stranded after a taxi driver in Bournemouth refused to allow him and his guide dog into the car. I was refused by a taxi about six months after I qualified um, as a guide dog owner with Thomas, um, so I was quite a new guide dog owner. Um, I went up to a taxi rank, um, went to get in the taxi and the driver just turned around and said no dogs and drove off. I was quite stunned by that, um, I was left embarrassed. Um, and it was really um, quite difficult as a new guide dog owner um, to take, take it in that actually something that's supposed to give me freedom and independence um, could also be a liability when I'm trying to get out and about. An assisted dog can help an individual in many ways. Peter suffers with a genetic condition that affects his eyesight and relies on his dog Thomas to guide him. I suffer from a condition called retinitis pigmentosa it's extreme tunnel vision, so um, when I look forward, it's like looking through a straw. It's a very restricted field of vision. Um, I also, um, part of that condition is also that I have um, extreme sensitivity um, to light. So if it's a really bright day, can't see anything. Um, I have no vision at night at all. Nearly eight out of ten assisted dog owners have been turned down by a taxi at some point in their life. By just having one refusal, it can greatly affect their confidence when booking a taxi in the future. Initially really embarrassed um, and then isolated um, and, and alone. Um, and it is a feeling that has stayed with me every time I go to get a taxi. Now, particularly from taxi ranks, um, there's that feeling in the pit of your stomach that, oh, am I going to be refused this time? Um, I've been very lucky that I've only had the one refusal. Some of the guide dog owners have had um, many, many refusals. The Equality Act states that a driver cannot turn down a person with an assisted dog unless they have an exemption certificate. This can be because of a medical condition, such as an allergy to the animal. Andy cars in Havant have one driver that carries this certificate due to an allergy. We've never actually refused anyone. It's part of our company policy that anyone who has a guide dog uh, is legally, we have to by law, take them in our cars and we would always do that. We have one driver who is medically exempt from taking any uh, animals of any kind in his car. Um, so obviously if the, somebody turned up with a guide dog, we wouldn't send that person. The Southampton Guide Dogs Mobility Team are petitioning for drivers to be enrolled on a disability awareness course before getting their licence. The Charity Guide Dogs is campaigning at the moment. Um, we currently have an online petition. Um, we also have a petition day on the 1st of April. Um, we're trying to get enough signatures so um, that we can hand it in to the government and try and get a change in the law so that um, taxi and private hire drivers are obliged to undergo um, disability awareness training um, before they can get their licence and so that um, they're completely aware that they have to carry assistance dogs in their cars. Andy Cars are a private taxi company that makes sure they never refuse a pickup from an individual with an assisted dog. They are now enrolling on a social responsibility training course for all of their staff members to ensure they understand how to handle people with disabilities. I did a wheelchair, I did the guidance dog, obviously how to strap a wheelchair in correctly and I had an assessor come out with me when I was driving the wheelchair accessible vehicle just checking the way I drive and everything like that and then obviously they come in with when you've got a a guidance dog with you and again they're just generally chatting and talking you through how you've got to react and what you've got to do to make sure that the customer and obviously the dog are 100 percent comfortable when dealing with a pickup that involves an assisted dog the switchboard team at andy cars make sure the driver's aware of the person rather than focusing on the animal we take obviously all the relevant information um, we lock that on the computer for the um, driver to know they do need to possibly assist the customer as well uh, we don't have to make them aware it's a dog um, or a guide dog, we just let them know they may need assistance. The National Association for Taxis have said the law is quite clear. 
that a taxi or private hire car must accept guide dogs and assisted dogs in their vehicles. Kirsty Chambers for that Solent.